I'm just really proud of our football team, uh, proud of our players, proud of our staff, to, you know, to go on the road, conference opener, and, and playing the back-to-back -back Sun Belt champions, you know, was a tall task. I thought we had a great week of preparation. I thought our kids were focused on the process and what it had to take to have an opportunity to beat Troy. Um, felt like it was going to come down to the end. You know, our, it's not easy to go on the road with a new football team that, that's been down for a while and to pull off a win like that. And that does not need to go, you know, unnoticed. Um, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of adversity, momentum changes. We had to have some players step up from injuries in the Texas game. Some guys that, that were got their first start in their career. Thought very proud of them. Obviously, we've got some things to clean up, and we've got to continue to grow and develop. But at the end of the day, it's hard to win college football games. It's hard to win college football games on the road. And, and to go on the road and to, to pull out a win against a good Troy team that's very well coached was, was a big moment. It was a big step for this program and extremely proud of these guys. You know, Coach, you, you've talked about it multiple times, you know, winning games in the fourth quarter, and this was a prime example, you know, a, a defensive battle, and, and your guys find a way in the fourth quarter to get the only touchdown of the game, which, you know, held off, you know, that's awesome to see from the guys, you know, you, you preach it and to see it uh, come to fruition, you know, that, that's awesome to see, isn't it? it? It really was. We talked about all week, to, to win games in, in college football and Division One football, and especially big games, you've got to win them in the end. It's going to be back and forth. You're going to have momentum swings. You've got to be calm in the storm. And our guys just kept playing. And they kept playing. And to be able to be down in the fourth and then have a couple big plays, um, you know, by our team and to be able to fight all the way to the end and score and take the lead and then play field position with a big punt by Mack and didn't get a stand, and then to be able to run the clock out. That's something that we've talked about this offseason is when you have the lead and you're in four-minute offense, you have the opportunity to finish the game, and there's not a better feeling than to finish the game with the ball. And, and that was an opportunity that probably hadn't been done in a minute, and, and our kids did it. And, and we're just trying to lay a foundation here. We're trying to, you know, brick by brick, Day by day, you know, we've got it. We still got a long way to go. We've got the toughest schedule in, in the group of five, and we own that. And that's why it's just one day at a time, one game at a time. But you know, to finish the game the way we did was a big step for this program. Coach, you're now four games in. So you're a quarter way of the season. You can start seeing the team starting to form an identity. Would that identity be right now at this point? This team built for a street fight. You want a physical game. I think right now our identity is, is really grit and toughness. I think we've got a gritty team, and that's a term you don't hear a lot. We've got a gritty team. We've got a tough team. We've got a team that, that, that's playing for each other. We're playing for this town, and we have this mission that we're all on, and we own turning this program around. And, and we understand there's going to be ups and downs, but as long as we wake up every day with the same mission, the same mindset, then we can continue this climb and we can continue to take the steps that are necessary on where we want to take this program. We've still got a long way to go. We got a lot of things. There were some critical plays in that game that, that could have swung the game the other way. And we put a big focus on those situations and those plays to clean them up and just continue the climb. Long drive back, when did you flip the switch and start concentrating on Jason Madison? Probably around 3 a.m. You know, we got back around 5. and But you've got to enjoy these wins. We've worked so hard. These players and staff and so many people in this community have worked so hard for that opportunity. And, and when you win a game, you, you, you need to enjoy it. Wins are hard to come by. And our team enjoyed that one. Um, seeing our players in the locker room and on the bus on the way back, because it's about each other. It's about them and knowing what they've sacrificed and they've went through to have that opportunity to bring that win back to Monroe was a big deal. But, you know, we, we've, it's the next step, and, and we have to change. We understand what's coming in this weekend. All right, 133 points, I believe, in the last two weeks total for James Madison. I guess it starts with their quarterback offensively. It does. If you look at James Madison as a team, you, you see a disciplined, you see a tough, 
you see a relentless football team. They communicate well offensively. You know, they're really good up front. Um, they've got a great offensive line. They've got a great quarterback. They've got great running backs. They've got receivers that can take the top off. Um, you know, they're, they're a good football team defensively. You know, you've got the number one ranked offense in the conference coming in averaging 44 points a game. You've got the number one ranked defense coming in giving up 17 points a game. You've got a James Madison football program that is 23 and 5 in their last 28 games. Uh, that, that right there speaks a lot and says pretty much all you need to know. You, you know, this right here is Troy and James Madison are the elite in the Sun Belt, if you look at it, the last three years. They're the elite. And they're coming to our, our house. You know, they're coming to Monroe, Louisiana. Now's the time. You know, we fought for this moment. There's a lot of people in this town and within this university that has fought for this moment, for a game of this magnitude to come to Monroe, Louisiana, to come to ULM. And if there's a time for this town to unite, and if there's a town, time for Northeast Louisiana to unite and get behind this football program, it's now. And it's right now. We've got, you know, a top 25 football team coming into to Monroe. And it's time to get behind. Let, let's pack Monroe. Let's sell out and let's get behind this team and let's pack out Malone Stadium and get behind these guys because this is a big moment. You know, this is a great football team coming in. You know, I think a two-touchdown underdog. And I told our team, we're used to it. We wouldn't have it any other way. You know, we're over a two-touchdown underdog, and that's where we thrive. That's where we've lived, and we don't back down from it. Coach, they obviously last week they've been on fire, but this team looked completely different since that Charlotte Gardner Webb game. What flipped the switch with them? I think, you know, you've got a new staff that came in. Coach Chesney and his staff came in, and if you look at, at him, Coach Chesney and his staff, a lot of those guys have been together. You know, they've worked together. I've got a lot of respect for Coach Chesney. You know, if you look at his career path, he's earned his way up. He's earned where he's at, and he's done it where, everywhere, everywhere he's been. And I think that was the first game with that staff, and you saw the growth week two from them. And then when you watched their third game, you know, they had their bye week, and they looked like a completely different team. You're talking about taking steps and improving. They've done that. And then they go out and they, they embarrass North Carolina. They embarrass them. And, and then they go back and then they do it again next, the next week against Ball State. So we've got a team right now. James Madison is coming in hitting on all cylinders in all three phases. Uh, we've got our hands full. We've got our work cut out for us. We've got a tremendous challenge in front of us. And, and, but this is a challenge that our team is excited about. It's the next step in this journey. And let's see where we're at Saturday night. You've been able to lean on your defense a little bit, especially late in that Troy game uh, offensively. Uh, you've kind of been able to utilize three of your quarterbacks so far. Can you see anything on film that maybe James Madison has shown you that you can use some packages against them like that? You know, if you look at them, they, they do a great job. You know, they're based out of a four down front. They disguise their coverages in the back end. They, they bring a lot of pressure. And they and they disguise their pressures. They hold it till the ball snapped. So we've got a great job, do a great job with our eyes and communicating um, in our run game, in our, in our play action game, in, in everything we do. Um, they communicate really well, and they trade stuff off, and they're coached at a high level. They're they're four and zero and twenty, you know, twenty three and five for a reason. And um, this is going to be that we've got our hands full. This is going to be a challenge. General, do we get another start? There's an open competition this week. How do you handle the quarterback? You know, it's it's a deal where, you know, we're gonna have we're gonna compete. I think that's a big part of our growth, is competition, and raising the bar and elevating at a at a different level. And you're also you're 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 protecting the team, so we're still competing week in week out. We like how guys are elevating their their habits in practice and how they prepare. And I think all it's doing is making everybody around each other get better. 
tanks, obviously, you said it a little earlier, Bill, about how big this is, and you certainly made strides and you feel a buzz. Your message to the fan base out there at one time. It's, it's time for the Warhawk Nation to all come together as one, and our town has been behind us. And the support has been growing daily, and it's got to continue to grow. It's got to continue to climb. You know, we have fought to bring a big game to ULM. We have fought to make this city and this university proud and to get it back where it belongs. Now's the time to get behind this football team. And let's, let's pack Malone Stadium. Let's get there early. Be there for the Warhawk walk. Let's get behind these guys because this team and this staff is fighting for this university and this town. Coach, team uh, keys to victory in this one. Obviously, Jay, we know how tough they are, but uh, the things that you've seen, the things that this team can do. We, we've, got to, we've got to eliminate the pre staff penalties. We've got to quit putting ourselves behind in the sticks uh, offensively. We've got to execute situational football. We, we've got to be really good on third downs. We've got to score touchdowns in the red zone. We've got to have great ball security on offense. If we lose the turnover battle against James Madison, then we're going to be in trouble. Uh, we've got to win the turnover battle. We've got to execute situational football at a high level. And, and we've got to play We've got to play our best football of this season. You know, Coach, you talked about this challenge. And <clears throat> Saturday, you know, you said 134 to beating the back-to-back -back SBC champs. You know, opportunity in front of you now, 134 to – uh, beat your team like James Madison, you know, why, why stop now? You know? there, there's no reason to stop now. We fought to be in this position. We understand that we're, we're going to always be the underdog. We're going to always um, be the team with the chip on our shoulder and something to prove. What a great opportunity for this football team in this city, in this university, to come together and, and see if we can to see, see where we stack and see where we line up against the best. Hey, are you surprised at where you guys stand right now with this program? Because others are. You know, I, I'm, I'm, a good way to answer that question is I am surprised at some things. I really am. I'm, I'm proud of how our players have come together. You know, with 73 new players, um, I'm proud of their mentality. It's not easy to, to create a one mentality with a lot of new players and start a new culture and really be the trailblazers of, of where we're trying to take this program and make history. So I'm very proud of this football team and this staff and this town. It's You see the people in, of this town and the community starting to rally. And in, you heard me say day one, December the 7th, the power's in the people and the power is in the pack. And when that pack becomes and unites, there's strength in that pack. And this is how we do it. This is how we do it, Northeast Louisiana. This is how we do it. So now's the time.